40 days of Lent. As we begin our day, let us stop and reflect as we journey to Resurrection Sunday. Today's topic, Let's Cut the Bull. Meditation Scripture, 1 Kings 18, verses 20 through 39. We're all guilty of doing it, of serving God and false gods simultaneously. This Lent and beyond, God is asking, how long will you go limping with two opinions? That is the same question that Elijah asked the people of Israel. How long will you go limping between serving God and false gods? simultaneously. Was Israel going to worship God or Baal? So Elijah said to King Ahab, who had been leading the people astray, let's cut the bull. Elijah challenged those who worship Baal to build an altar and put a sacrificial bull cut up into pieces on the altar. And Elijah would do the same thing. Whichever God rained down fire and burned up the cut up bull would be the true God. Elijah was saying to the people, let's cut the bull. Let's settle this once and for all as it relates to which God is the true God. Baal did not rain down fire on the altar. Our God, the true God, showed up and showed out, raining down fire that was so intense that it consumed the bull, the wood, the stone, and the dust, and even licked up the water that was in the trench. Like the people in Elijah's day, we can straddle the fence both worshiping God and false gods. Yes, we say God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. However, when we begin to experience a drought in our life, we begin to hedge our bets. We pray that God will bring the rain in our lives, but we also hedge our bets with other gods. We hope we'll exchange our circumstances, such as human gods, such as horoscope gods, and even horse racing gods. This Lent, let's cut the bull. There is only one God, no matter how you cut it. Let us pray. God, as I endeavor to be liberated from the cares and concerns of this world, I hear you saying, let's cut the bull. Help me to worship you, the one true God even during the most difficult times and seasons in my life. Amen. This meditation and prayer was submitted by Adrian V. Nelson II.